Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, welcome to this tutorial. Um, this is going to be to the first part of a multi-part series on Vellum. Um, in this first part, I'm just going to introduce what Vellum is, um, some basic parameters, uh, talk about Vellum constraints, um, and some workflow stuff. So without further ado, I'm going to just jump right in, make a geo, and let's make a grid, set that to YZ, and let's just subdivide it up, and then we're going to remesh this. And throw down a match size so we can put that on the ground. So there's our basic setup. So some of you may be saying, okay, so what, what exactly is Vellum? Um, Vellum is a really amazing solver uh, inside of Houdini um, that basically creates uh, constraints, uh, like these little springs that connect geometry together. Um, and then a way for you to simulate those uh, constraints in a solver. Uh, it's an amazing tool set, one of my favorite in Houdini. Um, so usually the first step for using Vellum is we're going to go and just type in VE, then we're going to get a list of stuff here. And in this list we have um, a few different kind of configure nodes. Um, that we're going to use to help set the, uh, this simulation up. Uh, usually you want to use these as just like a jump off point um, and then you would uh, add in more of these uh, just constraints or just vellum uh, constraints up here. Um, but that's definitely for later on. For now let's just go ahead and just use a vellum configure cloth and see what we get. So we just get one node. Let's just zoom in here just take a look at this. Um, so what we're requiring is Vellum Geometry, um, which is just a standard geometry. Um, and you can see we've got a second input for constraints and then a third input for collision. So for this, let's just go ahead and plug in here. And if we highlight this, we get this kind of mess. Um, and if we zoom in, we can see that these are those little springs I was talking about. Um, so each one of these kind of segments in here is a spring and connected to um, a point or vertice. Pretty straightforward. Um, so let's just go ahead and solve this. If we type in VES, we get a Vellum solver. And whoops. Plug everything in. Zoom out, and let's see what we get with that. And we get a piece of cloth <laughs> falling down. Um, so let's go ahead and add a floor. Um, under the Vellum Solver, we get a really nice uh, ground that we can make here. Um, and even though this square uh, has bounds, the, the ground is infinite. Um, so if we go ahead and click play again, we can see we get a piece of cloth falling to the ground. Very simple. Um, not exactly helpful, but we'll, we'll make this better. Um, so next up, let's talk a little bit about um, constraints. So for something like this, uh, for this first video, I'm just going to create a curtain um, that is open and then is closed. So for that, we need some anchor points up here, right? Um, and then a way to animate those. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do now. Um, so I'm just going to move over here. And I'm just going to add a sphere. And let's go ahead and template our vellum. So I'm also just going to throw in a transform just to be nice and clean. Go down 
here and let's move this up and over and then we'll just create a group actually you know what we won't create a group we'll do that later um, so there we go we've got one sphere so let's go ahead and make four more of these or three more so we have four in total and then merge them and then I'm just going to trans transform these over all right there we go I think that's all we need for that part. Um, let's just go ahead and make a null and just call this, I don't know, attach. Okay, so back on our vellum, um, we've got these three inputs, right? So I'm just going to run this into the collision input. And then next up, We're going to do a VEC, so just a, a normal Vellum constraint, like so. And you'll see it says distance right here. Um, and that correlates to this constraint type, distance along edges. So we don't want distance. Um, we want... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, attached to geometry, this one right here. And you'll see we get this kind of mess <laughs> um, that we're gonna we're gonna fix that right now. So let's go ahead and go down to this closest point and let's do a max distance. And then we're just going to raise this up a bit, and you can see we get these little constraint markers. Um, and we don't need a ton of these; um, just a few is fine. And that should um, cause our cloth to not fall. Um, let's give it a shot, see what happens. And there we go. So we have a nice hanging piece of cloth. Terrific. Um, so now all you really have to do is just animate these spheres. Um, and this is pretty easy. Just go here. Now let's start over here and animate this one. Um, so I can see that I need to animate on the X. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click this little brain down here to disable simulation. So now I can move this around. Um, so this is its end point. So let's just go to the end of the animation. Or actually, you know what, let's give it some time to settle. So I'll go to 120 and then Alt, click. That sets a keyframe, and then at frame one, let's have it just go over here. Start it. Actually, actually, you know what? Let's let's do this in reverse. All right. So this is frame one, and then this is our last frame. <clears throat> over and then alt click and now we get this terrific now we get this one alt click at frame one take it over to 240 alt click to set that and we get this and then the last one frame one last frame. So now if we go to our merge, we should see these all gather. Terrific. That's what we want. So now we go down to our solver. 
turn our simulation back on and we should get a nice clothes closing curtain curtain terrific and there's your first vellum simulation so let's make this a little bit better um, I don't want this video to be too long so just bear with me for a little bit longer um, let's go ahead and add some wind into this so if I double click on this vellum solver we get in here you can see there's a force output so if I just type in pop wind I'm gonna plug that in and raise the amplitude maybe keep the swirl down pull this down you can always mess with these settings I'm just kind of guessing um, and let's have the wind go on to Z so we'll just hit one simulate and vellum is really fast <clears throat> so we can always see pretty quickly um, what we get so let's crank this up there we go so it's kind of going a little bit too far sideways so let's lower that to two and add a little bit of X in there as well and I want it to blow away so let's just do a minus one on X and there we go so you can see we got some nice wind traveling through this um, and then last step on the vellum solver itself let's go ahead and crank our sub steps up to four and our constraint iteration is to 200 and then we're going to sim that but then last but not least let's do a vellum PP so post process and this basically cleans your vellum simulation up um, there's a few things in here we can do a smooth so typically I like to simulate a good bit of this so we can see what we get and you can see our simulation slowed down because now the post process is working all right so spatial blur let's just blur it a bit detangle it and then we can add some thickness uh, by default obviously we were dealing with single-sided geometry so now we have a little bit of a thickness there like so and that's it just hit play and you'll notice we don't you don't have to resim uh, between post-processing so typically what you would do is take this your vellum solver you would take a file cache run that you know let's just do it I'll just hit the save disk let that cache okay that cache is done um, so now if I play back in the viewport we're getting our cached file so we don't have to wait for that solve anymore um, and if this ever happens where you're you're kind of getting two things in here <laughs> Um, this happens a bit so you can go up to labs um, you have to have side effects labs installed um, and then reset viewport and that'll get rid of that piece of geometry and we can see we get we're back to this and obviously this up this part up here is very ugly and twisted because I just I didn't spend a bunch of time um, placing those constraints it's something that you can do on your own um, so now this is this is cached we're just going to drop this into our post process for the geo and now this will run much quicker so let's go ahead and just detangle a bit and we'll call that done so that is your first kind of vellum simulation uh, pretty straightforward um, obviously we're going to get way more into this um, but this is your uh, first introduction to it. Thanks, everyone.